Aisha was nine, Aisha was nine, 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 nine. You see the unbalanced scale here, right? Are you saying Aisha was making things up? David Wood, you're not a Muslim scholar. Am I being unreasonable for asking for one reference? I'm not gonna allow an Islamophobe to impede on my judgment. Source after source after source that I quoted to you. So for instance, Sunan An-Nasai 3380, it was narrated that Aisha said, the messenger of Allah married me when I was six and consummated the marriage with me when I was nine and I used to play with dolls. Uh, you keep attributing this to me and I'm the one quoting Aisha. Now my question for you is, if Aisha was this wrong, why do you keep saying she's a great scholar? If I can't trust her on when Muhammad had intercourse with her and, oh, I, can't, I can't tell the difference between when I'm 19 and when I'm nine. Why should we believe her about anything? You see, you see what he's done again. So David Wood, what he's done again, he's gone to right back to the same, to Aisha. The, to the same, the same issue, right? <laughs> to Aisha. So, so, so right, ba Aisha. right back to, the, please don't interrupt me, but going right back to the same issue. Now, trying to disqualify the fact that what I've, the reason I put these books up here is to demonstrate that they all say a different age. All these modern books. They, these, 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 look, they all say a different age. They've studied the issue. They've written books on the issue. Where they did Aisha all say, say a, different, a age? different age? Where did Aisha say a different age? They all age? say a different age based on what they have studied of the Hadith. Now, Where did any now of David, Muhammad's now David companions Wood, give a different age? David Wood, you're not a, a Muslim scholar. Right, but not, I mean, that's why I'm studied, quoting, that's why I'm quoting Muslim scholars. School. Ibn Kathir, so, Jal but, but in this book, by example, it says that she was 11 years old. So when a reasonable person gets this book and gets another book and another book and another book and they all have different ages. What's the, and reference? And What's giving, the reference? They're giving sources. What's the reference? Read in the book? books. Sahih Bukhari. Read the books. Where? where? Okay. Yeah, you, you can just tell Again, so Sahih Bukhari. Bukhari. Sahih Muslim. So do you agree in Sahih number? Bukhari? Let's, 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 yeah. Okay, great. So, okay, great. So, <clears throat> Sahih Bukhari. Mm -hmm. So you, do you agree that, uh, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, based on the Sahih collection, that he made the night journey to, to Jerusalem, Jerusalem and to, to paradise and that he split the moon? Do you believe that? No. Okay, why? I believe that he claimed it and I believe that's what they believed okay. and that's why they recorded it. It doesn't, okay. it doesn't but they're mean... Sahih. But they're Sahih. You're... No, right. no, are they Sahih or not? Look, you're, you're but saying... No, but the, 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 Aisha the, says I'm nine years old, and you're saying, well, if I believe Aisha saying that she was nine years old when Muhammad had sex with her, therefore, I had to believe that Muhammad took a night journey to Jerusalem. It doesn't, it doesn't work okay, like that. So, Aisha but, says she was nine. Aisha says she was nine. That doesn't, believe, that doesn't mean I have to believe every ridiculous story that Muhammad came up with. Okay, so again, do, do, you, see, do you see the unbalanced scale here, right? So in the same Sahih collection... In the same Sahih collection, <clears throat> he wants to reject anything good about the Prophet of Islam. No, I, no, I, be, I believe those. Reject I, I, anything I believe those good. Stories, I believe those Re stories go back, but I, I believe Muhammad was a liar and making things up. Okay, so there original. we go. Are you saying so, Aisha so was hear, making things up? No, Aisha made no, up I'm her age. I'm not saying age. anything. She's I'm a liar. saying that these, She's these a great scholars, scholar. Why would Muhammad marry her? Yeah. 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 So, so what I'm saying is that when I read on this issue, okay, I'm reading Muslim and non-Muslim scholars and historians on the issue. And the reason they're drawing their conclusions is because based on what they have seen and based on what this person says and that person says and breaking down the, the, the hadith mathematically, what the historical facts are on the issue, they've come to different conclusions, which tells in, anyone with a reasonable mind that there's reasonable doubt about being able to, if we were in a, 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 a literal court based on this information, we couldn't convict someone today. But in modern times, he wants to convict the prophet of something that he wasn't there right. about. It, he doesn't, it, he doesn't really know. Is it he doesn't really know. Am when I being the, the unreasonable for asking for one reference? I mean, I gave like twenty. Am I unreasonable for, for asking for one? If you're, if Aisha says over and over and over again, and eleven of the tabi'in report this directly from Aisha herself, and other Muhammad, other companions of Muhammad, state it. From their, own, from their own observations that she was nine, if this is what we have saying that Aisha was nine, and you're saying, well, maybe she was 11, maybe she was 13, maybe she was 18, maybe she was 19, is it too much to say, give me one single 
reference in anything remotely resembling an authentic Muslim source to show that. Okay, great. Instead, it's no, we'll go to the encyclopedia. We know no. that people disagree today. Why? Muslim scholars and apologists keep circulating these articles filled with lies, and then someone oh. like Gary Wills will come along and say, Oh, Muslims don't okay, know. He just proved she, my case, Muslims my case don't again. know how old she was. There must be all this disagreement. Okay. okay. No. So there's he, zero disagreement. So for the second time, he's proved my case. He just said that Muslim scholars, they, Today, they yes, go in they circles do. and they say this. He's called them liars, but they have legitimate reasons for what they say. Uh, and not, not references, have, apparently. Sure. I, I've already mentioned what, the, what these people say in these articles and in these books. I've already mentioned that. Now, now again, he's proving my case for me because he's now admitting again for the second time that the Muslims have disagreement. Now, he Today. wants to latch on to one side and not consider the other side because it doesn't fit his agenda. And so what a logical person has to look at all this information and you cannot pick up 10 books and read through 10 books and get 10 different ages and say, this one's the one I'm gonna go with. You can't do that. You cannot do that. I mean, not, not, if, you, not if you're a sincere person, unbiased, with no reason to, you know, uh, uh, you know, to, to, to draw a, a illogical conclusion, obviously. It would be illogical to say, all right, I've looked at these 10 books and I'm just going to, any, many, many, more, I'm going to go with that one. Now, the, the, the hadiths that he's talking about, they were, from what the scholars state, that they were narrated by someone by the name of Hashem in, when he migrated from Medina to Iraq. That's a lie. And, I'm telling you what this That's a lie. And by the way, you calling me a liar? Who, who, you calling the scholars a liar? You're not gonna I'm call saying, me a liar. I'm saying you read an article. No, well, and the you're not gonna call, but uh, but you, not. you heard I read I read the article, right? Yeah, and I quoted okay, so and, you, and, I, and I showed this you. comes from 11, so, 11 different okay, well, and on. multiple other companions. No, no, That's, so, it's a lie. so so the who Muslim Hashem, scholars. By the way? Do you know who Hisham was? The Muslim scholars are stating, okay, that now I'm not arguing. Keep in mind, I'm not arguing for one side or the other. Y'all don't know what I actually believe on the issue, because the point is, I don't know what to believe on the issue. That's what I believe. Who is Hashem? I don't know tell what to, hold on. Tell I don't know what to believe was. on the issue because there's conflicting evidence, okay? And I'm not going to allow any Muslim to impede on my judgment. I'm not going to allow an Islamophobe to impede on my judgment. A person who approaches this unbiasedly has to say, I don't know what to believe because obviously none of these people are talking about it. No historian, no scholar, Muslim or non-Muslim alike, people from Encyclopedia, Hazleton, uh, you know, no, none of these people were there. Matter of fact, the people narrating it in the same hadith that he's talking about, they weren't there. They're saying what someone else said. That Hashem is, is narrating from what his father told him. Mm -hmm. And who, who again, his again let me father, make the, the point way? about the fact. Hold on. I want to make the point about. Okay. No more than like 20. Yeah, I don't need it. Okay, Tell them so, who Hashem's father was. So the, the point being is that Hashem is known historically to have had a compromised memory. Now, this is, what, this is what I've read in multiple works. He had a compromised memory. He was in his 70s, and uh, that, that caused the, the hadith to be in question. On top of that, it, it only came from Iraqi sources. It only came from Iraqi sources. And the scholars have a problem with that because it says, they say it doesn't make sense. Okay? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, who was, who was Hisham? Do you know? Do you know who Hisham yeah, was? Yeah, I know who he was. Tell, who? tell us all about it. Who was he? Yeah, I know. How, he's the one that narrated those hadiths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but who was he? Yeah. Go ahead. You don't know? Yeah, I know. He was, yeah, I do know. Who was he? he I mean, He was the grandson easy. of someone, right? He no, was uh, the son of Zubair. Okay. And the grandson of who? He was that. He, what, what does that matter? Abu Bakr. Okay, okay, <laughs> great. So, but what, what, so but what does Zubair, that matter? Zubair is Aisha's nephew. Hisham is his son. He gets the, he gets the hadiths um, from his father, who was Aisha's nephew, who got everything from Aisha. Um, and that's just one sort. That's just one of 11. That's just one of 11 sources who recorded it from Aisha. So you've got Aisha. Guys, I, I, if you have 11 different people all reporting the same story from Aisha, and it's confirmed by multiple companions of Muhammad, if you don't know that, if you don't know that, if, if, you, if you can't say, if that's in dispute, if you say, I've got 11 people all reporting the same exact story from the same exact girl, and that's, that's just no evidence because, you know, you've got the, the encyclopedia, New World Encyclopedia or something on your side, 
then fine. Don't tell me we know anything about these people. Okay, Don't so, tell me we know anything. If I can't trust 11 witnesses plus a bunch of companions, we can't trust them. Don't tell me we know anything about your prophet. Okay. All we conclude is that there, were, there was mass lying and your sources are completely unreliable. Uh, I'm fine with that. But if we actually take your sources remotely seriously, Aisha was nine, Aisha was nine, 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 and we get down to the modern period, Muslims are embarrassed because this is a source of great criticism. Some make things up. And notice, that's what he, he's, he's, quoting, he's quoting someone who says this all comes from one source, Hisham. It's a total lie. Someone made that up, put it in an article. It's a lie. It's been exposed so, repeatedly. It's been exposed for years. Okay, he's repeating right. it. He didn't all even right. know who Hisham was. So, so someone made it up and put it in, are they li they're making up a lies and put it in an article. Yes, that's a total okay. lie. So, so everything about Islam, it, the Muslims are all lying. And the, no, you know, they're, I they're believe all, they're all making this up This is the amazing thing. The, the, I believe the source is more than okay, you do. Right, so they're, they're I have more confidence. They're, they're all manufacturing I, I have more respect for Aisha and Muhammad's companions and Ibn. I have more respect for Aisha and Muhammad's companions and Ibn Kathir and Islam's greatest scholars. I have more respect for okay, them than so he's Muslim just, apologists. He's just going on and on and on. You you you, you bumping your lip like that's not not doing anything. So. Yeah. Okay. So thank you. And and so, again, uh, I mentioned a, an article by example. But I, I mentioned an article. I didn't write the article. Published February 2019 by Sheikh Dr. Ridwan Ibn Salim. I'm gonna read it again. Although widely cited hadith states that Aisha was nine years old when the marriage to the Prophet was consummated. This is contradicted by strong historical evidence. Reports of Aisha's age and works such as Authorities such as Nawawi, Askalani, Ibn Kathir, all placed her in her late teens at the time the marriage was consummated. Just give me one do you remember, of those. Hold on. Swan. You remember me saying that? Okay, so also, uh, uh, do you remember me saying that uh, an article posted um, last month, December 28, 2021, by Faisal Rahman, what does he say? As all biographers of the Prophet agree that he consummated his marriage with Aisha at the, at the year second Hijra, uh, it can be conclusively said that she was 19 at the time and not nine as alleged in the aforementioned hadith. So when you look at this evidence, now he wants to insist because he's, you know, he's been saying this lie over and over and over again for all this time. But the fact of the matter, he wants to demonize anything that Muslims say, that they're, they're lying, they're, 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 they're manufacturing these different stories and these different theories to try to make up for this and make up for that. No, the Muslims debate with themselves on the matter. And I'm repeat it again. Listen closely. The Muslims debate with themselves on the matter. Okay? And if they're debating with themselves on the matter, that means that there's no agreement on the issue. And what are we supposed to do with that? I'm not the scholar. Right? I'm not the Hadith scholar. I'm not, I have, I'm not the one that came up with those issues or those studies. Yeah, Other yeah, Muslims have yeah, done that, yeah, you know and they've the, come to different conclusions. You know who the greatest Hadith scholar of all time is? Ibn Hajar al Asqalani. And He's guess the greatest what? Greatest Hadith scholar. And guess of what? I just time. mentioned that he mentions that Askalani has has something that's that what's competes the what's with the that reference? Issue. Because you but, know what Askalani well, we go actually to, we said. Go Askalani's the, the one who said since she was still playing with dolls, she hadn't reached puberty when she, when the marriage was consummated. I'm going to let consummated. me repeat this that's, one sentence. That's, <laughs> let me repeat one sentence. Yeah, you're going to repeat Reports, what someone else said. Give no, us no, the reference. That's fine. But what, but who does he mention? I actually quoted He mentions Nawawi. He mentions Askalani. Ibn Kathir. Hey, look, I didn't do his study. And he's I didn't do his study. And he said Ibn Kathir. Ibn Ibn Kathir, the Muslim scholar who says there is no one Let's who disputes Muhammad consummating the marriage with Aisha when she was nine years old. Let me ask you I a question. I can give you the page number let me, let me, and the volume number. Right. Let me, Ibn let me ask Kathir, you a question, David. who indisputably says this, the same Ibn Kathir who says that Surah, 9, I mean Surah uh, 65 verse 4 let, let me ask means, you a question, David. is referring to prepubescent girls. The same Ibn Kathir, he, there's a mystery okay. reference. All right. let, me, let me ask you a question, It's all David. mystery references in Nawawi and al okay. Asqalani all right, great. and Ibn so, Kathir. We can't give any okay. actual reference, but they're there. Okay, Trust great. Us. So, it, so, okay. So, in my opening statement, I said I'm not here to debate this hadith versus that hadith, what that scholar says versus that scholar. I want to ask you a question, David. Be honest. Be honest. Do the Muslims disagree on the matter? Muslims today, yes. Muslims okay. back then, no. Okay. So the and Muslims you, today. So you're saying hold on, hold on. If he, he's, not, today, he's, he, he's not giving you right information. Amazing. He's not giving you right information. <laughs> the Muslims today, they also mentioned that the Muslims back then, and I'm not, I'm not talking about the Sahaba, 
I'm not talking about the companions of the prophet. It wasn't an issue then. But, but scholars after that, they did indeed disagree. And he's proved my case for the third time. There's reason to doubt what he's saying because the, the Muslims themselves, they disagree on the matter.